Hello YouTube. So we're back, part three, on our road to Power Tour with our fake snake 1967-ish <laughs> tribute car. Um, as you can tell, this side's been primered, so the majority of the car is primered now. Uh, still a lot of body work to go, and the shop is still wrecked, but um, at least we got something we can start with now. It's all uniform, so I've been kind of working all over the place again, um, doing stuff way out of sequence, but my interior is pretty much done now. Um, it's kind of dark in here. I also have to get a light in there so you can see, but... We've been working on the inside a little bit, steering wheel and all the dash is pretty much complete. Everything's wired. Um, just got to clean some stuff in there. Only thing really missing is the door panels, which uh, they got to go on a little later. And we've also been working in the trunk area, starting that. So uh, get your shot in there, what we got going on. Probably best if I go around to the other side. All right, so here we go. This is a little better look. And um, I haven't got a real, real long ways into it, but um, we're not going to do a lot more than just some probably some carpeting. And I used uh, three quarter inch plywood to cut out my shapes, and I'm just going to carpet the whole bottom. Um, use some MDF on the bottom. Spare tire still fits under there like a factory one did. And uh, I have some of the stuff to make a flip down. Uh, or trap door, excuse me, the other trap door open, but I'm just not going to do that. I don't, I don't feel the need to do that. I'm probably just going to run carpet. I don't know if I'll put carpet on the trap door, but I'm definitely going to put carpet on the bottom and probably run it on pass because uh, if you look real close, the, um, the spare tire well kind of extends past my board there, but I'm pretty happy, pretty pleased with the shape. Um, I know a lot of people don't do this step, but I've had vehicles in the past where I didn't put this three quarter or not three quarter hour necessarily. I didn't put plywood or anything right here. And when stuff was in the trunk, it rolled around, you know, whether it be car clean supplies or, you know, whatever. And um, it rolled around in the trunk and hit the quarters and actually dent the exterior quarter panel because, you know, if you if it goes out, it's gonna dent it. You know, something rolls into it and it'll keep stuff from dropping down in the fender wells. So. All right, guys, so um, here's what we got. We're going to be running for wheels. It's a 17-inch Ford Racing um, bullet wheel. I know the real Shelby's had different kind of wheels, and other cars run Coy's wheels or Edelbrock wheels or 454s or Schmidt wheels or whatever, and we might go to some of them, but uh, this is what we have. <laughs> so it's just going to be a driver. Um, these wheels aren't perfect. They have some scrape, some slight curb damage and stuff but we're gonna polish them up and run with them but uh one thing i didn't like was i didn't i wasn't a crazy fan of this uh mustang emblem you know we're going for the whole shelby thing so so this is this is what i um found out i i popped this out i've already got it loose so i could just take it out one-handed but it just like has this little clip and goes down in there and um i need to clean down in there but anyway and then i got on ebay and i found I found the, the pack of these uh, center caps, okay? And they come straight from across the water. I don't know where they come from, but it took a while to get here. But anyway, um, got these. And then I also found these. And uh, what these are is just the little, two, two different sellers. I kind of was guessing on this and it worked out. So, um, work with me i'm one-handed but these are just little great okay so sorry about that these are like little um just adhesive back center caps and check this out bam fits in there all right guys so we got it outside got our wheels on i think they look all right Shelby center cap added a lot to it. Interior shots. Since you can actually see the inside some now. Got a few panels and stuff in the back. But pretty 
a child there except for the dormouse. So that's going to do it on this episode. Um, I'm going to try to clean up the shop some while the car's not in here. I want to say thanks for everybody that's subscribed and commented. And um, we're going to keep going. Hopefully we see some of you guys on Power Tour. Later.